What's up guys? You're looking at my Baja. It's currently in a state of repair. Now if you can't already tell, yeah, I am working on the clutch. More about this later. I just want you guys to know at what time I am doing this video. It is basically almost 1 a.m. right now. I had a good time driving this today, but you know what? I'm here with my internet out. My whole household internet is out. So I figured why not get myself a little bit of a fifth scale gas RC monster garage action going on you know let me tell you what happened I was racing this against a whole bunch of 10th scale short course trucks of course I killed all of them I murdered them on that track that video is actually coming soon Luckily enough, I was able to record while this thing turned off all the weird engine noises it was making after I destroyed all those 10 scale short course trucks. Now, unfortunately, the audio isn't that good because I was running a case here. Camera wasn't fully exposed. Anyway, usually it comes down to a bad spark plug. So the first thing I did is check the spark plug. It didn't look destroyed. That's a good sign. Then I checked whether it has spark. It had spark. Well, then, you know, usually it's the clutch at fault here. So the clutch in this case, you know, it's out of the car. This is what happened. You guys see the spring right here? Yeah, the spring is busted. Now it looks like this was probably either a six or 7,000 RPM spring. It's not an 8K spring because it's not red, right? My overall clutch material not completely worn down and guys I do not really know the full history of this RC I got this used I've ran maybe about um five gallons of fuel through it you know completely it hits 46 miles an hour RCMK motor right now you're looking at it in complete state of disrepair the Baja has occupied my bench press so this is kind of urgent um, I can't work out until this thing is fixed. Now, right now, I ordered a uh, replacement 7,000K clutch on Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. Um, many people say, why don't you get the 8K? A lot of people like the 8K clutch. Honestly, I think, you know, the higher RPM clutch springs, they're good, but I'm not really looking for that, like, you know, off, off the line, crazy wheel spin, you know, action. My tires here, they're already fairly flat. You know, this is just the reality. I think even a six or seven K clutch spring would be adequate. I'm not looking for like, you know, these whole shot uh, tire burning, diff destroying uh, acceleration runs. That really is not for me. I need smooth planted power so I can destroy those 10 scale short course trucks. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, this is my first time even removing a clutch bell on any Baja. These things are just so reliable. I've really only had problems replacing the spark plug when I had to, you know, the spark plug typically tends to go, or the pull start on this side. Um, when I removed the clutch bell housing, it was pretty much obvious that the clutch spring was snapped. Now, 
Don't think it's that easy. You know, I was sitting here just now. Look at the tools I got, guys. Got myself a Dremel and I got myself a soldering iron. You're probably thinking, well, I know what you're going to use a Dremel for, you know, to put some uh, grooves in those stripped out bolts. Well, I did have to do that, but I also had to first heat up the bolt. So take a look at this picture here. Literally, you just hold it to one of the bolts and eventually, you know, the red thread lock in there. That was way too much. The previous owner like drenched this thing in red thread lock and it was very hard to remove any of the screws. And Bajas, to be honest with you, compared to like smaller RCs, the fit scale is relatively easy to work on. The screws here are fairly large. They are tough to strip, as a matter of fact, unless you apply so much red thread lock that only a soldering iron like this, when you heat it up for like two minutes, literally just hold this attach and it will melt the thread locker in there. Since most of the screws are no longer reusable, I just picked myself up a screw kit on eBay from Robin. It's about like 20 something dollars. Basically all the screws that came in the Baja, a bunch of the clips, whatever. Fairly inexpensive. Another reason why getting a Baja is a great first fifth scale gas RC. Just really easy parts accessibility, relatively easy to work on. But let me show you what wound up happening to one of the screws I took out. So this one right here is basically uh, seared off. Now it's supposed to be right over here. So I have a screw in the clutch housing here on top that I have to somehow extract. I have not done any work on this yet. I do not own a uh, extractor drill bit set or an extractor of any kind. Now this is quite an old King Motors Baja. One of the first clones that came out and still Man, the hardware, it's on point. It is not bad. Um, one thing I kind of want you guys to help me out with, this is the gear plate, right? How come I have so much wear on this side? Now this is where the spur gear spins, right? On the shaft here. How come I have so much wear here? Should this part also be replaced it seems to basically just hold the brake uh, hub assembly in place and it really doesn't do much. And if I were to replace it, what should I go with? Why does my spur gear seem to have so much weird melting going on around the circumference of the gear itself? The gear is fine. It's not chewed up. It's just like, you know, one of these things. And I got to tell you, the brakes on this are not phenomenal. They do not fully lock up. But I've examined them as much as I can and... Uh, the materials, the disc brake, the rotor, it seems okay. Anyway guys, this is just part one of my repair of the clutch. You know, getting rid of this bolt here in the clutch housing and then fitting on the new clutch, putting everything in back and then I'm gonna be back to destroy some more 10th scale short course trucks because uh, that's what I like to do, you know. For now, I gotta wait for the parts. I have them on order. They're coming, gonna be here in a couple days. Just need the screw. I need clearly the clutch itself. Now, I could have just replaced the clutch spring, but to be honest with you, the clutch springs cost as much as the entire damn clutch. And collectively, if you think about such a giant piece of, you know, this is just half of the clutch, just one clutch shoe, compared to the price of, let's say, what Traxxas would charge you for a 10th scale clutch, this is a bargain. These 5th scale clutches are cheaper than the 10th scale Traxxas clutches, you know, go figure. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, put in the comments, you know, suggestions, ideas, how to get rid of this bolt. Um, you know, if I don't make this video fast enough and I do it without your advice, well, that's just what it is. Wish me luck, see you later. And I'm gonna be doing some selling. I got my mask right here, gonna go inside. That's right, I am playing of a journey. I am in Port Richmond in Staten Island, New York. So right now, I just parked my car at northmost point of Staten Island. This is a free public, sometimes happens, in a not so great area. But I gotta tell you, being on a murder trial is a A police precinct right here. A lot of stuff goes to Yankee Stadium, which is like the local minor league.